Hello y'all, this is Fall New Vegas. In this video, we'll be doing the quest back in the saddle. The first thing we gotta do is find Sunny Smiles. This quest is started when Doc Mitchell tells the player to go find Sunny somewhere in the town of Good Springs. Do be aware this quest is part of the tutorial, but it's also optional. We're outside the Prospector Saloon, which I think was inspired by the real life Pioneer Saloon in the real Good Springs town. And according to the pit boy, the NPC we're looking for is going to be inside that building. Let's head on inside the saloon and see if we can find a Sunny Smiles. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. With that brief introduction out of the way, let's follow her outside and participate in what I presume is survival training. We're going outside the saloon and moving to what could be, perhaps, let me see first, a shooting range? I hope the walls are thick enough to handle that. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. All right, that shouldn't be too hard. I just gotta use 0.5% of my definitely real gamer skills. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? The bottles put up a good fight by sitting still, but the gun lesson is over now and we must decide to help Sunny fight geckos or end the tutorial. Let's say we will help her. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. I reckon we're going to follow her out of town to go fight the varmints. We're leaving the town as expected to go to the water supply. It's us, Sunny, and her dog, Cheyenne, versus whatever we run into. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Let's go ahead and crouch down and try to sneak up on some geckos. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. The geckos are some distance away, but let's use vats to get a more precise view and take our shot at its torso. Once that one has been killed, we're going to see if there's any more, and if there is, there is. We got to take our shot at that one, and once that one is gone, that will be it. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. In this dialogue, let's say, sure, I'll come with you so we can fight more geckos. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. We were given more ammunition for the varmint rifle, and off we go to the second water supply location to shoot at more mutated lizards. We made it. I'm not even going to use vats for this one. The geckos charge. One gets shot down almost immediately. The other two make it, but we'll quickly dispatch them. Let's not waste any time, so I'm rushing to these rocks overlooking the third water supply where some geckos are attacking a good spring settler who will try to save. I don't get enough action points to use vats to kill the other two, so I'll just resort to firing in that general direction, and that settler just went crazy with her cleaver and used it to take down those critters attacking her. The quest is going to tell us to go to Sunny first, but instead of that, let's speak with the settler. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you done... I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. We're given some water to drink, which is always helpful in a post-apocalyptic wasteland, and our reputation in Good Springs goes up. This gives the player a discount when buying at the saloon in Good Springs. Let's talk to Sonny. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? This is the third chance we get to end the tutorial, but it won't work on me dialog box. Let's say couldn't hurt. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. 
we get a reward of 50 XP and 50 caps. And another quest is started due to that dialogue named by a campfire on the trail, which I may cover another time. But this video is going to stop here. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Have an awesome day. I'll see you all later. Bye.